Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 86 through 90. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 86. A Linux systems administrator is tasked with copying files and directories from server A to server B. Which of the following commands could be used for this type of file transfer operation? The answer is D. rsync. rsync is a command line tool used for efficient file synchronization between different locations, either locally or over a network connection. It also has the added benefit of transferring only the differences between files and directories, making it fast and bandwidth efficient. Question 87. A software developer needs to transfer a directory containing code files from their local machine to a remote server for testing. Which command line tool should the developer use to accomplish this task? The answer is C. SCP. SCP stands for Secure Copy Protocol, a command line utility designed for securely transferring files between a local and a remote host. It operates over SSH and encrypts data during transmission, ensuring confidentiality. This makes SCP a reliable choice for transferring sensitive or confidential data between hosts, especially in environments where security is paramount. Now, this question sure sounds a lot like the last question. Well, basically they are. I did this because I want you to know there is more than one way to copy files from one machine to another. SCP and rsync both perform this task, just in different ways. Question 88. Which of the following commands controls how file permissions are set for newly created files? The answer is C. You mask. The umask command controls the default permissions applied to newly created files. When a file is created, the system subtracts the umask value from the maximum permissions to determine the actual permissions of the file. This allows administrators to set default permissions that align with security policies or user requirements. Question 89. A Linux developer is tasked with deploying a new version of an application on a remote server with the IP address of 10.0.10.15. Which of the following commands should the developer use to establish a secure connection to the server for the deployment process? The answer is D. SSH-I, open parenthesis, my underscore, key dot, pem, close parenthesis, root at 10.0.10.15. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. This command consists of several components. Firstly, SSH is the command line utility used for securely connecting to a remote server. The dash I option in the command is used to specify the identity or private key file to be used for authentication. Here, my underscore key dot pem represents the path to the private key file required for authentication. This option ensures that the SSH client can authenticate with the remote server using the specified private key. Next, we have root at 10.0.10.15, which specifies the username and IP address of the remote server. Question 90. Which of the following nice values would grant a process the highest priority? The answer is A. Negative 20. Nice values also known as process priority values, are used by Linux operating systems to prioritize processes for CPU time. The nice value range typically spans from negative 20 to 19. A lower nice value indicates a higher priority, meaning the process will get more CPU time compared to other processes with higher nice values. Conversely, a higher nice value indicates a lower priority, resulting in less CPU time allocation. This means a nice value of negative 20 represents the highest priority, while 19 represents the lowest priority. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. 
This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.